Some days ago, death found one of our scholars and reciters of the Quran. His death caused chaos on the social portfolio and famous shuyukh like Sheikh Okasha Kamini told about his death, as well as Dr. Yasser Khadi. Oh, people are mistaking the death of this man to be this man, which is so, so wrong. In today's video, we will dive into this matter, scrutinize it, and see what is going on, and then rip out the results in peace, inshallah. So stay tuned and don't go far. The famous reciter to my left is called Sheikh Abdullah Kamil. He is the one who passed on, not the famous cat imam we already know of. And looking at the physicalities of these two, well, we can say that they have some few resemblances like their body type and their beard shape as well as their face makeover which is why i will understand the misunderstanding that people are having but again taking him to the grave i mean this man to the grave even before his time that is not good well he is alive and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him long life and prosperity so that more cats will be featured in his salah inshallah now to the mean man this sheikh is an imam he is a reciter of the quran and he's a scholar in Islam. Getting his issues coming from the mouth of Sheikh Ukasha Khamini and other shuyukh means that he is one of a kind. Sheikh Khamil is blind, but that did not stop him from seeking the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Islam. He is a known reciter and has been leading Tarawi and Tahajjud based on reports that we have received. He's a hafiz of the Quran, which is so 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 amazing for someone who can see. In fact, his issue has reminded me of this video that I made, I think two days ago. This video also talks about or gives an insight into the life of a blind boy who has a melodious voice. You can listen to that and see what I mean. With his condition, Sheikh has been able to make use of his youth age to engage into the matters of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Islam. And now that Allah Rabbul Izzah has called Sheikh to himself, we hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will show his mercy onto Sheikh and also grant Sheikh Jannah al-Firdaus. As for we his people, in fact, let me tell you this. I don't know who Sheikh is, but because of his good works, after his death, I've got to know him. And I'm even praying for him, which is something that we all should try to do when you are alive do something good that will be there for you even after you die let people be happy to be with you always show some islam in your movement and when you die i'm not saying that you die now may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us long life but when you die and then you've done all this good then people will surely remember you and then pray for you so brothers and sisters in islam let this be a reminder to us all to start working towards jannah and not jahannam for jannah is the goal this my brothers and sisters in islam brings us to the end of today's video on did you know if you are new to this channel consider subscribing to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our content when we produce them if you want more people to see this video consider liking this video and if i have a suggestion or a question drop it down in the comment section below we will be glad to respond to it with this i say to you my brothers and sisters in islam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect you. So pray to him for he said in the Quran, Uduni, astajib lakum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.